Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do in this video is do a basic setup on my UNVR with Protect. We're going to take a look at some of the functions in the latest stable release or the latest general release. We'll adopt a couple devices in and we'll be ready to get this AI PTZ and this horn speaker in and start playing around with that. So without further ado, we're over here at my merged lab se and nvr so i'm going to click on my protect icon up here and you can see that it's got the default video this was the latest firmware when i updated it the other day let's just make sure it's still yep it's still the latest official firmware so we're going to go back and we're going to go ahead and adopt some devices i've got an ai pro and an ai key so we're going to go ahead and get these adopted you can hear the camera ding maybe you can't now we get this when we go to adopt the AI key. Please enable AI features and select camera coverage. So we're going to do all cameras. We're going to do the next AI summary. And this is where you can automatically generate AI powered summaries for the cameras. And we are going to enable speech to text. Now in Illinois, we typically, or at least when we deploy cameras, we typically disable the microphones because we're a two-party state and sometimes uh, depending on the situation you have to get well all the time in illinois both parties have to consent to being recorded with their audio so if this is in a uh, an area that's not necessarily open to the public if you have cameras we just we just disable the audio there's a whole host of uh of legal issues there but we're going to go ahead and enable this for all cameras and we're going to leave the face enhancement on and we're, we'll go ahead and let it analyze up to 5,000 previous events because we have none so I'm going to go ahead and confirm this and the AI key is now processing I'm going to go ahead and close that now we get Introducing smart detection. Compatible cameras can now differentiate between a wider variety of objects and recognize even more event types to deliver the most targeted surveillance yet. Person detection with face recognition, vehicle detection, model and license plate recognition, and audio events and things like that. We're going to go ahead and enable smart detection because we want to do all of these things. So you can see here that the AI key is online. If I bring this up camera coverage there's zero uh, cameras that we're covering zero face enhancements there's no detections in the queue if I bring up the settings I can rename this I'm going to go ahead and leave it AI key uh, then down here where you may not be able to see it because my face is covering it up we can turn that LCM brightness up or down we can have the nighttime mode which by default is 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. we can locate restart or remove and it says retroactive processing is in progress. There's nothing to there's nothing to process yet. And then our AI features, we have all of the things turned on there. So now the AI Pro, which has a piece of paper over the lens, if you remember some of the videos we were recording with facial recognition, it is preparing to update. But we can come over here and we can take a look. Can I do a live here with it updating? It may not uh, act the way we want. So over here, we've got the, the detection, whether it's face, person, vehicle, animal. We can adjust the focus, take a snapshot. We've got our camera settings, so we can do crossing lines, privacy blackouts. We've got our overlay information here with the time, camera name, logo, and bit rate, smart zones, and uh, motion zones and we can do some image tuning I'm pretty much going to leave this at default for now then we can go to the camera settings I'm going to close that then under the settings I can of course change the name we got the microphone uh, for now since it's just me I'm going to leave the microphone enabled here but we can have it disabled when recording we've got noise reduction we can disable the microphone permanently the night vision here is set on auto. We've got camera sounds, so we can turn that on. Apply that. Then we can share the live stream with a link. 
which is pretty cool because you can one person you can send this out and they can view the camera i think it's uh, for 24 hours and only one viewer can do this at a time but if i hit share live stream then i get this link notification manager notifications are upgraded to alarm manager we got that there are 14 alarms applied to this device we'll take a look at that and then you might not be able to see it down here but we've got our rtsps options there and then we can restart or remove the camera so over here on the left hand side we've got our dashboard over here we've got iot devices as one and that is the that's the ai key must be considered that we are on unify os 4.2.12 and protect 5.3.48 our ai key is still retroactive processing and our camera capacity we have one 4k camera video archiving here store backups of your recordings from unify protect to your associated storage so we can push that to our storage we've got recent detections over here of course this is our overview of our unify devices the ai pro is updating but this is our playback so we can play back the timeline or we can play back detections down here you've got your camera controls we can do a heat map on that we've got all of our different options for viewing our video here down here's our snapshots and then here's use the camera built-in speaker to talk video archiving remove footage here here's our find anything so this is the next ai search so we are going to be using this especially once we get the cameras mounted outside i'm going to make this thing find a damn raccoon should be able to do that i would think right as long as it doesn't go bipedal but maybe i can make it find a raccoon walking on its hind legs or find the raccoon that went bipedal raccoons uh, up here we've got flagged smart detections only we can adjust the date our match confidence so if if you're having you know video that you're seeing that you're like well this is not right you can turn the confidence up so that the system has to be 80 percent 90 percent 95 percent up and you can see that we're getting um some smart detections this is recording all the time and it's probably picking up my voice here we've got events on the timeline and then over here we have this so you can see right here that the reason that it got the detection is it looks like it's looks like it's audio over here if we've got people or faces they'll show up here vehicle detection is going to show up over here license plates and then case manager so case manager is where we can go through and we can bring in different detections and different recordings and export that all as a single case so you don't just have 20 different videos it kind of packages it all into a nice um, streamlined view if you're definitely looking for a specific video or a case under our settings We've got our recording manager and you can see the AI Pro is right now always set to continuous recording. We can change that. The recording uh, retention is auto. The overlay has the logo. Under storage manager, we can see all of our hard drives. So I've got four, four terabyte hard drives in here. And I believe I'm running this on a RAID 5 is what it looks like. We've got enhanced retention down here. And then we can go to our recording manager up here. Select our options over here on our AI Pro, when to record always or a custom schedule, recording mode continuous or events only, create motion events, and then how many seconds do we have to have motion, create AI events. So we got animals, faces, license plates, persons, vehicles. We can edit these take those out we've got audio detection here so you can see down here we've got speaking that might be covered up by my head but we've got baby crying barking car alarm car horn co alarm glass breakage siren smoke alarm or speaking so we can edit that we've got recording quality here our microphone once again we've got the overlay information under system 
We've got our language. We've got the time format, whether we're in 12 hour or 24 hour. Our temperature is freedom units or Celsius. I'm gonna change that. By default, it was Celsius. I'm gonna change that to freedom units. AI events here, which we turned on earlier. We've got update options here. Audio files that are built in by default. We've got linked accounts. So if we add a linked account to this, whether it's a NAS, and it doesn't necessarily have to be the UNAS, it could be any NAS that runs SMB. We can archive our footage at the Dropbox, OneDrive, or Google Drive. The NAS for me is definitely gonna be the way to go. So if we click that, you can see it wants to know the IP or the FQDN of the NAS, the port, the username, and the password. And it says here, please note that you can change the connected SIFS SMB server in the protect settings. So if we click that, it's going to take us right back here. If we have that linked account set up, we can do this continuous archiving. Under advanced, we have a camera recovery code so we can manually adopt cameras. We can encrypt our streams. We can enable the heat map of the recordings for the, the map overview. We've got geofencing. So we can do some uh, automated things with geofence, geofencing. We've got low latency video, timeline scrubbing previews, third-party cameras if they're on VIF, compatible, report false detections back to Ubiquity, and then we have bridge devices, and we do not have any of those bridge devices. Under control plane, here's where we can do our uh, updates and install access and inner space also on the NVR. We've got integrations here for activity logging, SNMP, the API, and I do not have an API key yet. We've got backups. These are automatically being backed up to my UI.com account. Here's our storage, yeah, and I do have basic protection, which is RAID 5. Here's all of our console settings. And then here's our push notifications. And then admins and users is where we create those special admins if we want to invite people or we add local users. Down here we've got our system log. So right here you can see that we're getting some detections. It's speaking audio detected. The AI Pro detected someone speaking. You can see all of our system updates and the logging on Unify is getting more and more powerful all the time. Then we have alarm manager with all of these different alarms built in. And not only do we have all of these different alarms built in, we can actually create an alarm and we can do, do it based on face ID, LPR, license plate recognition, objects, act, activity, sensors if we had those, or the system. And we can include the cameras or exclude cameras. And over here, we can be notified. We can send... Uh, uh, webhook or use a webhook to do notifications and if you do that you can do slack or custom we can unlock a door we can play a sound we can turn a light on or we can control the ptz so we're going to get into a lot of that once we have this other camera set up so this is just a quick overview of the latest general release of unify protect so come back for the AI industrial PTZ introduction and the the horn speaker introduction videos. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you need someone to go over your camera setup or your network setup and help you tune things or figure things out, or if you want to build something from scratch, if you need voice over IP, um, security, all those things, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's there on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Also, come on over to community.willyhow.com and start a conversation about all the things you like in technology. Once again, my name's Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.